as we gather for this morning's devotion on Morning Moments with Jesus, I'm reflecting this morning on our service for the Lord and the things that God has called us to do in life. And I believe the word will bear out, and of course our own experiences will as well, that one of the things that hinders the work of the Lord in our lives and our ability to stretch forth and become more of a productive servant for God is that there may be some of us who do not want to really step out on faith simply because we do not feel like we can control the outcome. A lot of a lot of people, uh, if we are honest, we have control issues. Those things in which we feel like we can't control or we can't see or we can't predict the future or the outcome, we, we tend to steer clear of. And we always want to just invest in those areas where, where we can have kind of control over it. But I want to tell you this morning that God is speaking to someone this morning that he has a marvelous plan for your life. But you've got to give up the controls. And you've got to allow him to take you to a place that even if you can't see it right now, even if you can't understand all that will come from it, you've got to know some certain things about God. That if he calls you or prompts you or moves you in a different direction, it's for a purpose. In Genesis chapter 12, we pick up in the story of Abram, which you know later became named Abraham. And we use this uh, for the Israelites and for uh, the casting of the Lord's uh, future for us, but I want you to listen to verse 1 and 2. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you, and I will make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. And in verse number four is a very pivotal statement. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to him. He didn't know where he was going. He didn't know what he would find when he got there. The only thing he knew is God told him to go. And that was enough for him. So when God prompts us to go in those directions, we need to understand this about God's plan for your life. If he's leading you this morning to move from where you are to where he needs you to be, it's for purpose. And you will find the position. Just rely on the promise. Because if he moves you there, he will protect and he will provide with his awesome power. So let go of the controls this morning. You know God's been speaking to you. You know he's put it in your heart to do something for him or to move into a different area. Trust him. Abraham trusted God. And God told him, you will be a blessing in this area in which I'm moving you to. So just take a little time today to take a little time and spend your time with Jesus. Let him show you 
the new place or the new direction or the new position or the new place of service, whatever it is, let him show you that he's got a plan for you. Be safe, be strong and be blessed. And you be that person today that says, Lord, I give you control. Take me wherever you need to take me. Do whatever you need to do so that I can be the most for you. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, have a great day.